Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope you guys are having a great motherfucking Wednesday. So today we're just going to be checking in on all of my plants. Um, this is just going to be like a general updates video. So we are going to go around my entire plant room and just see what my plants are up to. So if you'd like to come along with that, please make sure to stick around. And if you didn't know, I be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that. I got you and you should definitely think about checking out my other videos and if you already have why not click that subscribe button you're already here also don't forget to leave me a like and a comment on this video because it really helped my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it plus I really just love chatting with y'all down below but yeah anyways let's just get right into the plants all right guys, so honestly, I'm not trying to go into like every single plant in here because this isn't a plant tour video, but once I like fully finish setting up the plant room, I'm definitely going to be doing another one of those videos, but I think I just want to show you guys things that I'm excited about in the plant room and things that I think you guys will find cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into these planty highlights. Let's go ahead and talk about this Anthurium Forgetii that y'all be seeing behind me. As I'm sure you can tell, she is flowering and she put out two flowers. Um, so I'm super proud of her because this is actually her first flower ever. So I know that like an Anthurium's first inflow isn't usually fertile. So I don't think I'm going to get any like pollen or anything. But since she put out two flowers, maybe I will. I don't know. She's also putting out a new leaf that is super beautiful and still expanding as well. This was the last leaf she put out and it was completely massive. Like it's literally like the size of my head. So I feel like this one is going to be the same size if not similar. But unfortunately on her lower leaf she is starting to have a little bit of you know crispin and like these little spots or whatever. I think mostly because I don't think I have the best airflow in here. So right now the fans aren't on, but these are the only fans I have. I mean, there is a vent up here that is constantly on, but it doesn't really blow that much air. <laughs> so I really wish I had like a ceiling fan that could like really circulate the airflow in here. So hopefully one day I can install something like that. I've been kind of having some problems on the leaves with my other plants, um, especially like with edema. Um, if y'all already know what that is, I feel like I've kind of mentioned it in my past videos, but I've been having some problems on some leaves, but it's okay because for the most part, the plants are still doing really well. But it is a little sad that these leaves are starting to get these little marks on them because before she literally was like, pristine um but i'm sure we'll get there again someday because these new leaves that are coming in literally look fine like nothing has happened to her so let me knock on wood because i probably just jinxed myself and if you haven't already noticed this plant is in a self-watering setup and she literally loves it so much she has so many roots growing like crazy in here I honestly might need to repot her soon, but yeah, this is my Anthurium Forgetii. So let's move on to like this main little table in the middle of my plant room. Right here we have my Gopersha Warsawixii, who is just finishing up putting out this leaf. And it is so beautiful, so velvety, and literally looks perfect. Like, y'all, she literally loves the self-watering setup so much. This was her last leaf, which also looks really well. Um, these lower leaves aren't looking too bad themselves. Of course, some of them have some battle scars. But something that is super exciting is that she actually put two new shoots out down here. And they are starting to put out some new leaves as well. So I am looking forward to seeing those. But this plant has really made a comeback because before I put her in a self-watering setup, she was struggling, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. But now she is literally living her best life, looking the best she has ever looked. Um, and I'm just so in love with her and I'm so proud of her. And then right next to her, we have my Alocasia Lotterbachiana that my good friend Khadija, aka 
Miss Plants Locks Books here on YouTube. If y'all don't already know, she be uploading plant content as well. So if y'all aren't already subscribed, go ahead and check her channel out. Definitely subscribe because if you like my videos, y'all will like her videos, trust me. <laughs> but this plant just finished putting out a new leaf and it is looking super nice. It does have a little damage on it that I'm not entirely sure what that is from, but regardless, it still looks super nice. And I'm excited that this plant is growing. As y'all can see, she is also in a self-watering setup and she's starting to have some new root growth in there, so. I feel like she's really going to start taking off. And hopefully she can be as stunning as my Alocasia Amazonica Polly someday. Who is literally always popping off and looking stunning. She's starting to put out a new leaf down here. So there's a little leaf spike or whatever. So eventually a new leaf will emerge from there. And turn into one of these. <laughs> but yeah, I just really love this plant. And I actually got this plant in my first video on this channel ever. So if you want to watch that, you can. But just a warning, it's very cringy. <laughs> um, yeah, I was very awkward in my first, like, couple of months on YouTube. <laughs> um, my philodendron Camposportoanum right here is popping off with all this new growth. So I'm excited to watch her start growing up the moss pool again because if y'all don't know, she used to be a much taller plant, but I did cut her back so that I could restart her. And hopefully we start getting some mature leaves again like we have right here. Right here we have my partner Ezra's Calathea Ornata and I just wanted to mention it because it is putting out a new leaf right now. This plant doesn't really put out new growth that often so it is super exciting to see and she's even starting to put out a new shoot down here so maybe we'll see another leaf start to emerge but yeah she's doing really well these days. My beautiful philodendron Squamy Ferrum right here has a new leaf coming out so I'm super excited to see that and to see how big it's gonna be i feel like it's gonna be huge um this was the last leaf which was pretty big and this one already is like the size of my hand so i'm sure it's gonna be the same size if not bigger and then my philodendron bipenifolium just put out a new leaf she is still slowly morphing into that more mature leaf shape and the leaves are definitely sizing up, as you can see. So that's super exciting. Right next to her, we have my philodendron sub has statum, who I recently moved out of the mini greenhouse. And she is doing really well. She put out this new leaf that is still hardening off. And yeah, she is super beautiful. If you didn't already know, this is the philodendron that is popular for having those red backs. And I just love it so much. It is like so vibrant like look at that she is literally just so beautiful and i'm super happy that i have this plant in my collection so hopefully she continues to grow and mature up the moss pole super well here's my raffida four tetrasperma that we repotted in my last video she is doing really well um yeah she hasn't really changed that much but I just thought I would give you guys a little update. My philodendron white wizard just put out a new leaf. It is super beautiful. I just love the variegation on this plant. And then the big sister to the white wizard is my pink princess philodendron, who is also doing really well, except on some of her newer leaves, she has like these burn marks or whatever they are. I don't really know. I've got them on past leaves before too, but yeah, I don't know if it happens from like the leaves staying furled up for too long because sometimes that happens like when she does like the philodendron glass slipper thing or like the leaf has trouble coming out, you know? So for now, I'm just waiting to see if the new leaves that come out continue to do the same thing. And if they do, I'll try to, you know, fix it, but she's doing well. Here's my Hoya Ratusa who actually bloomed not too long ago. But unfortunately, the bloom has dried up now. I don't think I showed it on my channel ever, but I did show it on my TikTok. So if you follow me over there, you would have saw it. But don't worry, we already have a new bloom on the way. And we actually have two because there's another peduncle growing right here. If my freaking camera can focus on it. There we go. Can y'all see it? And then where that flower is drying up right now, there's actually two more peduncles coming in behind it. So... 
Hopefully we'll have two more flowers bloom right there because that would be really fun. But yeah, she really loves life and just chills. Next to my Nepenthes and my Philodendron Silver Stripe, who I recently just mounted to the wall. So literally yesterday I was just in here, you know, doing planty things. <laughs> Basically the idea just came to me and I tried it out. So what's happening here is I have a nail in the wall and then I have an S hook on this cup right here. So basically I can literally just hang the plant up and she stays. So I am super in love with how this worked out and how it looks because the plant literally looks like it's floating. And also it's an easy way to mount plants to the wall. So if you use like plastic cups or like plastic pots, you should be able to do something similar. So yeah, I definitely suggest trying it out as long as you don't have like a super heavy plant. Um, of course you can, you know, get something stronger to hold it up to do like the same effect. But yeah, I just thought this was a fun little planty hack i definitely want to do it some more and just like put plants all over the wall because then it will literally look like the plants are growing on the wall when like they aren't but like they are you know what i mean but yeah i just really love how it turned out there's like so much going on in the plant room i don't even know like what to show you guys next because <laughs> like everything is putting out new growth i'm like low-key overwhelmed because I just want to sit here and talk about every single plant, but like I said, this isn't a plant tour video, so I don't want to keep you guys here all day. <laughs> Since she just caught my eye, we have my beautiful Monstera Adansonii right here, who's putting out massively... Oh my god, my voice. <laughs> who is putting out these massive leaves that are bigger than my hand. And she even has a new leaf coming out right now. So I highly suggest putting your Monstera Adansonii on a moss pole if you have one, because they literally love it so much. Like, look at these leaves. I have the wide form, by the way. So that's the one I prefer, but low key. I kind of want to get the narrow one just to like have the different versions. <laughs> and I kind of want to see like what the narrow one looks like growing up a moss pole because I'm sure that one probably looks super cool as well. Here's something that's sad. Uh, this freaking philodendron Camposportoanum baby I have down here has like the leaf melting off right now. Um, I think this is happening because of poor airflow. So this might be edema or like some sort of bacteria or something, but like the leaf literally just like comes off. Look at that, what the heck? So yeah, that's really sad to see because that was a really beautiful leaf. I think I just need to work out that airflow situation. So hopefully once I do that, I'll have less of this problem. Oh my God. So I actually forgot to talk about this plant right here that I actually haven't talked about on my TikTok or my YouTube, I don't think. But the other day in uh, Miss Plants Locks books comment section, <laughs> um, me and her were chatting and basically I had left a comment letting her know about a star fruit tree I was growing so basically this is that star fruit tree I actually grew this plant from seed this is what she looks like she is so cute these are known as a carambola and yeah basically one day I was eating star fruit and I collected some of the seeds and decided to pot them up and see if anything would happen and Luckily, one of them sprouted, so I'm really hoping I can actually like grow this out into a full-fledged tree because she is just so cool and so unique. One really cool thing about this plant is that at night, the leaves kind of fold down. So like the opposite of a prayer plant. So like, you know how prayer plants fold up? Well, these girlies like to fold their leaves down. And another really cool thing about them is this. <sighs> All right, I don't even know if I was able to catch it on the camera well, but basically the leaves do move like a sensitive plant. So I was just kind of blowing on her and she did move a little bit, but I didn't really catch it on camera because my camera was all blurry and stuff. Maybe I'll insert some footage for you guys to see. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and put her back in her humidity dome because I don't want anything to happen to this plant. <laughs> All right, guys, but that's gonna go ahead and end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had a really fun time taking you guys around with me and just showing you all of the plants and what they've been up to lately. So I hope your guys' plants are doing well and making it through this fall. Y'all can let me know how they're doing down in the comments. Y'all already know I be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you're looking for that, I got you. And if you haven't checked out my other videos, definitely make sure to do that. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. And yeah, if you wanna see more of me and my plants, I do also have a TikTok by the same username. So if that sounds interesting, you can go ahead and check that out. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this video up for y'all because it's Saturday right now. I think it's currently like, what, almost 2 o'clock p.m.? Oops. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.